Congratulations, guys. You have finally made it to 600 item level. And you are ready to start progressing to tier 1, which is a thousand something. So, first step, get here, and you already went, you get 600 gear score. First thing you want to do is come to the Chaos Dungeon and pump, grab your gear from uh, the Yorn Chaos Dungeons. Hopefully you get both of them. Sadly, if you don't, you'll just be another day, which kind of sucks, but not the end of the world. After that, you don't want to disassemble your tier 1 gear. You'll need to come to your friendly neighborhood gear honing guy. And what you want to do when you get there is you want to infuse your gear together. So after you infuse your gear together, um, it'll just cost a couple silver, I think, not crazy anything. After you do that, you want to start your questing on the islands. And so what that does is, let's start off the, let me start giving you enough. You have to come to here, this continent, go to the Origins of Stern. And what you want to do is there'll be a little purple quest right here. And you pick that up and it'll send you to Peito. Which honestly, I really like Peito. A lot of people fucking hate it, which I can understand because it does get fucking annoying. So you come to Peito. You do this quest right here. You want to go to the third floor, I think, or whatever. Just the top deck. And there'll be uh, three, three objectives, I think. Just get those done. Get them over with. After Peito, you want to come to this island called, let me, I think it's called Fomona, Fomona Island, yeah, Fomona Island, it's just right down, right down, right down, oh my goodness, today we are special, is it here, or is it on the other side, yeah, right here, get these quests done, really easy stuff, there'll be an NPC just right here with a purple mark overhead, right around this area. Just do that quest line, pump it through, you know, all that great stuff. Next place you want to go after you is I wanna island. I wanna. I wanna island. Right here, motherfuckers. Just get this thing done. Some beautiful girls on here. You know, great stuff. Who doesn't love it? After I wanna island, you're then gonna wanna go to Little Luck Island. Some people have quests here, some people don't. Just get it done if you do. It's nothing crazy, so you're not missing out on much. Liebenheim is the next island you want to go to. Um, I'm not a big fan of this island because it's all about love and I'm extremely lonely. You know, so that that's what <laughs> I have that going. And that'll give you a quest to go up to Shushire. You don't need to do this right now. Just do it when you're done all this boring stuff. Next island after... I think... What is it called? I think it's... Oh, it's the Dance Island. So right here. Boom. Come do this island and just get it out of the way. Pump it out. Light work, you know, pump up the jam, get that shit done. Destroy the island next. This one is kind of annoying. I fucking hate it because I'm stupid, but, like, you might enjoy it. So, basically, what it is, it's, a, it's like a manor with a bunch of portals and stuff in it and your map's disabled. And the way you get into the manor is when you walk in, there'll be a little path to you to your right-hand side through the forest. Just go through there. You'll meet, like, a little creepy uncle dude. But, like, just talk to him, be friendly with him. He gives you lots of mats, so just do that quest. And after that quest, he'll give you a quest to do a cube dungeon. I don't know if it's called a cube dungeon, but just go do it. So, the way you do these cube dungeons is you'll get passes from, example, Chaos Dungeons right here. You get a pass from there, and it'll let you enter the cube dungeon. Really easy way to enter. Just use a ticket, and the longer you last and survive is the more materials you'll get from your chest at the end. So just do that, really easy stuff. And then head back over, claim your rewards, fat mats right there. Next island you wanna go to is Outlaw Isle. That bad boy's right down here. Simple, very simple, just get it done. Punch it out of the way. After Outlaw, Outlaw, you wanna go to Twilight. Twilight's, where the fuck is Twilight? Am I stupid? Oh yeah, no, I'm stupid. So Twilight Owl, boom, right here. Really easy stuff, just get these quests done. Light work, pump them through, get it out of the way. After you do Twilight, it's Gravis. Gravis is right here. Do Gravis, really simple, just get them. Then the next one is going to be Hypnosis Isle. 
right here. This aisle is just a little longer, but it gives you really good materials. So just stick with it, get through it, you know. And make sure when you're leaving, there'll be a little pink exclamation mark. Make sure to hit that quest before you go. It's a little more mats, and it's just a good way. And you'll get this th this character, right, to give your report to. And when you're entering, there'll be a little shipwreck here, and the gate will be locked. You just have to go park your boat by the shipwreck at the top side of it, and then this should unlock. And so after you do that, the next one will be is Azura Wind Island, I think is what it's called. Let me just type it in here and just, let me just... Azure Wind Island. Azure Wind Island. Boom, right here. So this island's really long. I still haven't really done it because I am missing a song I need from it. And you get that song from Harmony Island. But the thing with Harmony Island, it doesn't show much often. So it's not showing for these days. But it's showing on this day, thankfully. Harmony Island. Just set your alarms, get ready, wake up, pump it out. Get that thing rid of as fast as you possibly can. You can do the first part of it, but like the last two quests, I think, is when you need that song. And then another thing you can do to help you push to tier one is if we go over here. You can do, you push up an alt. You can push up an alt if you want to. Like I would recommend it. Like remember on here if you clear the little bit with your alt to like get some resources just clear the rest with your main and then run the rest with your alt because the second time clearing is just all materials right so i ran the rest on my main my alt has it you know and then another thing is these boss rushes same thing as before they give you a ticket from chaos dungeons and yeah you just get one from a chaos dungeon you use it it's not like the most common thing so don't hold your hopes up, but like the longer you survive, the more mats you get from the chest up then. Next thing is Guardian Raids. So the way we do Guardian Raids here, in my opinion, is we don't harvest the souls, souls of the new Guardian Raids until it's at our item level. So for example, I would be harvesting all the souls to get to 960, I mean 1000, and maybe today I'll be 1040, so I'll just harvest there to there. And then I'll just do this one and harvest the souls twice on this bad boy. Another great thing I'd recommend is Chaos Dungeons. So what, I mean Chaos Gates. So what Chaos Gates are exactly is if we look here, we have a Chaos Gate. Little Chaos Legion, whatever it's called. We have a secret map if you see in the items received rewards. And what the secret map is, it's kind of like a treasure hunt, but... Excuse me. It's a treasure map, but you can get mats from it basically. And what I would recommend doing is finding four other people, I mean three other retards that have it, and you go do it with them because they'll also give you materials. It's a party shared material map in a way, so all four of you will have a map, you go do them, crush them out, blah 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 blah. So, next one. If we go to our little navigation thing around here, don't know why I changed it to a British accent, a terrible one in fact. We have ghost ships. These are weekly. Do the one that's recommended your item level. These things will give you mats, books, great stuff, blah blah blah. You can do these once a week, decent stuff. Next thing I'd recommend is your dailies of course, get your dailies done. And when you're all out of mats and you have nothing really left to do, just do your chaos dungeons and empty this whole th this whole thing by getting these guardian shards. And the way you get these is by after you use your two charges, and if you do it again, you'll receive them. So do that. And then you can also, if I'm not mistaken, what am I thinking about right now? I think that's it. Oh yeah, pirate coins. So if you go to your port of any city, your little harbor there'll be a pirate merchant on the bottom hand side so if we open up burn he'll be right around this area he's just it's a pirate ship you go to him you exchange pirate ships for mats you can do those every two days which i'd highly recommend do it on both accounts if you have another alt that's uh, tier two and yeah that's basically it i really hope this helped you guys good luck